After a few shakedown cruises, it was time to leave the coast and head out to sea. Our first trip would be Marseille, a distance of about 100 nautical miles, and the weather on the route was predicted to be fairly light for most of the journey. Provisioning was completed and all loose items were put away and we prepared ourselves for the journey ahead. The overnight sail was uneventful and we arrived in Marseille mid-morning and the wind was around about 20 knots. The normal port in Marseille is normally quite busy so we, uh, we headed across to a small island just off the coast called Port de Froy. The next day we headed across to Marseille town proper and were amazed to see how many boats there are in the marina there. Marseille is the second most popular city in France with 870,000 inhabitants in 2019. Founded around 600 BC by Greek settlers, Marseille is the second oldest city in France as well as one of the oldest cities in Europe. Overlooking the old port is the Basilica of Notre Dame de la Garde or Bonne Marie for the people of Marseille, a Romano Byzantine church and the symbol of the city. Since its origins, Marseille's openness to the Mediterranean Sea has made it a cosmopolitan city marked by cultural and economic ex exchanges with Southern Europe, the Middle East, North Africa and Asia. In Europe, the city has the third largest Jewish community after London and Paris. The city was named European Capital of Culture in 2013 and European Capital of Sport in 2017. Additionally, Marseille hosted matches at the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2016. It is also home to several higher education institutions in the region, including the University of Marseille and the Mediterranean Institute of Oceanography. We waited for the ferry and enjoyed the sunset. Little did we realise that Chill was in big trouble out in the bay. Oh my gosh, this is insane! Woo, so windy!
we woke next day to clouds, rain and wind, but nothing like the afternoon we'd experienced before it was blowing 42 knots. The kids took the bikes and rode around the island for a few hours. The Froil Archipelago is a group of four islands located off the Mediterranean coast of France. Scare the wall. Other side. To the left, to the left. Everybody move, your body to the left. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. Get out of the way, man. I said, move to the right, no, left. No, move to the right. To the right. You don't go that far, right? A trip around the island is definitely worthwhile. There are great views, amazing beaches, incredible landscapes and walking trails. The colour of the water is just unbelievable. You need at least a full day to enjoy the islands properly. Make sure to wear comfortable clothes and shoes and bring a swimsuit, some snacks and plenty of water. There are tours uh, around the old shadow and the old hospital. Uh, there's also plenty of bars and restaurants by the port in the main island where you can restore after a long day of walking and sunbaking. Do they scare me? Oh, right. So I'd have to buy a new sister. What? 